fellow cinema fizzies, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is Classic Movie Thursdays, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today, instead of reviewing a movie, I am actually going to be reviewing a documentary and the documentary is called Ingrid Bergman in Her Own Words. Ingrid Bergman is one of my absolute favorite actresses ever. She's the reason why I got into a lot of classic films. I just absolutely adore her, if you can tell by my collection of books over here. There's just something about Ingrid Bergman and her acting and her movies and just her as a person that I greatly admire and I enjoy watching her in anything she does. I've seen so many of her movies. Casablanca, which I have right here, is one of my absolute favorite movies ever. So many of Ingrid Bergman's movies I can quote inside and out. The first film I remember watching Ingrid Bergman in was Alfred Hitchcock's Spellbound from the 1940s. And I had just bought it because I was getting really into Hitchcock and his movies. No idea who Ingrid Bergman was or who Gregory Peck was. All I knew is that it was Hitchcock and I had to have it. And from that moment on I really liked Ingrid Bergman. I loved all of her movies. I remember watching Casablanca for the first time and just falling in love with her acting and just the movie as a whole and I think she really added to the quality of that movie in so many ways. No other actress from Warner Brothers could have done a better job. Ingrid Bergman was not a Warner Brothers player. She was RKO, but she was loaned out to Warner Brothers to make Casablanca. She didn't really have the best time because a lot of the script had to be rewritten and she didn't like that she liked to know in advance what was gonna happen. But that movie just turned out brilliantly and most of it from the direction to the writing to the cinematography to all of the actors but I think it's Ingrid Bergman that really brings that movie together and makes it so great. My favorite movie of Ingrid Bergman is definitely Casablanca, but I also greatly love and admire Notorious. I love her work in Murder on the Orient Express. I think she was fantastic in that movie, even though she was a supporting player. I just really like all of her movies so much. She just had such an immense talent. To get back to the documentary instead of all of Ingrid Bergman's movies that I have seen and my undying love for her, this documentary in her own words was a celebration of her life and really in her own words they had interviews with her being played over much of the scenes which consisted of pictures from her early life, home videos of her early life, some of her early work in Sweden and Germany before she came to America. A lot of her home videos, she liked to film home videos. I think it was on a 16 millimeter camera and she carried that with her all over the place. There was videos of her and her children, her and her husbands and just her life. And it was a really touching documentary to watch because yes, it focused on you know, her husband's, her love life, and her scandalous affair with Roberto Rossellini, but it wasn't like vilifying her, you know, it talked about in the press that, you know, the press was vilifying her, but as a whole the documentary wasn't vilifying her, it was showing her as the type of person that she was, and her Rossellini children, and even uh, P. Lindstrom from her first marriage were saying that their mother was just so full of life and just such a lovely person who had this lovely energy. She wasn't really the best mother, she wasn't really there for her children a lot, and she kind of didn't show them much compassion, I mean, she did love them. As Ingrid Bergman explained it herself, she had more of a friendship with her children than an actual, like, mother and child relationship, which is kind of sad, but at the same time, their kids seem to benefit from it, I think. Two of her children didn't really go along with this whole lifestyle that Ingrid Bergman had and their father had, but, you know, they got over that and they really they did love their mother and you see that in the interviews and that was really interesting to see because I had never really seen any of her other children besides Isabella Rossellini who if you don't know is a famous actress and she seems to be the one that has the most understanding of her mother and she even says it herself that the way her mother lived her life it wasn't 
you know, it, bad for her. She didn't mind it. She actually liked it. And I guess that's what led Isabella Rossellini to become an actress and live in that lifestyle. Over a lot of the pictures and a lot of the video throughout this documentary, they had uh, Ingrid Bergman's diaries read in Swedish, so there were subtitles and letters to her friend that she had written over the years in Swedish. That was very, very interesting to hear. I mean, it wasn't Ingrid Bergman's voice speaking the words from her diaries and the words from her letters, but just to hear the Swedish and then, you know, hear, see her words in the subtitles, that was really very, very interesting for me to see, and also they had um, some scenes where they showed her diary and, and, you know, her diaries written in Swedish. And then there was also interviews with Ingrid Bergman speaking in French and in Swedish and in Italian, and that was just, I, I thought that was so great to hear. I, I, I've heard her speak Swedish in her early Swedish films, there's a pack of that, highly suggest going to find that. It's great, great movies. She was. Even at a young age, she was just so incredibly talented. And I've heard her speak French in one of her movies, Elena and Her Men, which they talk about in this. And it was just, but it, like seeing her speak those languages in an interview and just her seamlessness, you know, speaking her native Swedish language, speaking French, and hearing her speak Italian, that just made it all the more endearing to me, this documentary. and made it more interesting for me to watch. I like documentaries a lot. I do watch them and a lot of Hollywood documentaries are not very kind to their subjects and I think this was very kind to Ingrid Bergman. I, you know, they had the support of her children and I think it was because her children weren't like upset with their mother. They gave you an understanding of her and they didn't like spit venom about her. I mean, they, they showed her flaws as a human being, but they weren't, they weren't nasty about it. They said a couple of times, each one of the children that, you know, they had their moments where they were angry at their mother, but she was just such a kind person that they really did love her and they miss her presence even to today. That's what they miss most about her is how she was just so kind and loving. And I think that was a great thing to show because if you look back at Ingrid Bergman, she was vilified for her affair with Rossellini, but even P. Lindstrom, who suffered, you know, as the first child, doesn't vilify her mother. To me, it didn't seem that way, and that was really nice to see. Ingrid Bergman, in her own words, is one of the best documentaries I have ever watched of anybody from old Hollywood or anything about old Hollywood classic films. It was just so well done, well made, well put together. The story of Ingrid Bergman's life was so perfectly told and it was really nice to see all these pictures and hear Ingrid Bergman's thoughts from her diary, from her interviews and letters and everything. And I just really liked it. And even if you guys aren't like absolutely huge fans of Ingrid Bergman, if you just like documentaries, about old Hollywood or actresses or you just like documentaries in general, definitely, definitely go give Ingrid Bergman in her own words a chance if you haven't seen it. So that was my review slash rambling of the documentary Ingrid Bergman in her own words. If you liked my review slash rambling in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below if you have seen this documentary or even if you haven't and you just really, really love Ingrid Bergman, let me know and we'll discuss any of her movies, anything about her. I just absolutely adore her and I'd love to talk to you guys about it. Also in the comments, leave any suggestions of what, I, what classic movies I should watch or any other movies for that matter. And if I pick your movie and I review it, I will give you a shout out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future Classic Movie Thursdays and other Let's Get Real movie reviews because that is what I like to do here. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.